we're looking at is symmetry, and that treating the body as a whole, that the body works best in whole. And if there's something off or asymmetrical, we basically don't work as well. Uh, we uh, use the expression, sticks out like a sore thumb. Why? Because it's asymmetrical. Why does someone with a limp or a hunchback stick out? Because of asymmetry. And also, even in architecture, we'll find that the beautiful uh, surroundings have a symmetry about them. Well, our bodies, the most beautiful and perfect athletes, have a symmetry to them. And so, with osteopathy, we're trying to restore that. Now, we can't always get perfect symmetry, but when I start, I generally start from the bottom, looking at the length of the leg, looking at the alignment of the ankle joints, the knee joints, and the hip joints. Oh, we'll remove the iPhone hat to me. <laughs> so, checking range of motion as I move around, I'm moving around on her ankle and her knee, checking external and internal rotation. Most of this is my fascial. The different types of Manipulation can almost all be combined in the palpation and um, evaluation. I tend to go right ahead and treat people. When I look at the, her asymmetry in her pelvis, she's got a little bit more tightness on the right side than the left side. So, yeah, she's side bent here also in the lumbar. So we're going to treat the right anterior nominate. And Felicia, you're going to push against me. And relax. Push against me. Now, depending on how much muscle they have, uh, man versus woman, how much force you put. Good. Now, you're going to turn over on your belly, face down. So, take a look at the sacrum. Take a big breath in. Why do we call this the sacred bone? Sacred. Any ideas, gentlemen? It's a good key station. Um, it's the womb. It's sacred. Oh. You okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So take a big breath in. So which came first, the funny bone or the humerus? <laughs> so a couple articulations there in side bending, improving the spine there. She's got actually a difference. Big breath in. Good. Exhale. You okay with the force? Yeah. Good. Put on the table. Oh, let's do it like that. Ooh, you should get the sound on those. You can lie on your right side facing me. So I can. And on your left side. So we can take this information, I can actually share it with students, and I could say, look, this is, you know, kind of my five minute, uh, you know. You guys usually see this in the first day or so. Yeah. But I could, you know, when students say, well, what do you do? I could say, well, here, go to my link on my website with this picture. On your back, face up. Just show the apparatus, like with the UVB. So the most exciting part for a lot of people is the cervical adjustment, or sometimes the scariest part. People can walk around with the neck being asymmetrical and function for months or years. Um, if the low back's not going right, people come in because they just you can't live your life if your low back's out. Low back pain is disabling. Neck pain very often is a nuisance, but people can walk around without moving their neck. And shoulders, and elbows, and good. Okay, sit up. And tell the camera how you feel. I feel great. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> All right. 